What's up bodybuilding fans? I'm back again with another video and this week's video is uh, highly requested guys. I did a video on Kevin Lebroni's comeback about uh, a week ago and I had about 400 500 comments down below and um, about 60 to 70 of those guys got uh, that comment on my video. They wanted to know what I thought about Roly Winkler, how he's going to place this year the, the Olympia. So um, this video is dedicated to Roly Winkler. Uh, Louis Marco's favorite bodybuilder, I'm pretty sure if you guys watch Louis, and I'm sure you do, if you guys uh, are watching this video, I'm sure you guys watch Louis Marco. So, let's get into it. Uh, when this photo right here, guys, hit the internet, everyone started going crazy, including myself. This is the best I have seen Rolly Winkler look since 2013, um, when he won, I think it was like the Chicago Pro, maybe. I can't remember. I think it was the Chicago Pro. But he looks phenomenal, guys. This is the, sh like, he shredded, lean, diced, full, and my light is flickering for some reason. But anyway, so he looked phenomenal, guys. And I am a Rolly Winkler fan. He is, he is just the epitome of just, like, thick, solid muscle. And he looks phenomenal. Some of the best, not some of the best. Uh, top two, top three best arms in bodybuilding. Maybe ever. His tricep looks uh, I mean, if you guys ever seen that that tricep shot of Lee Priest, it is right on par with that. His triceps are freaky. This guy is a genetic beast. Um, but with that, guys, as we all know, he has struggled in the past couple years with this bubble gut, and like as you can see, he has finally got it under control. It looks like, and it, it was under control at the New York Pro uh, about a week, a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago, uh, when he got second place behind Dexter. Uh, and so a lot of you guys were asking me if Roly Winkler uh, wasn't asking, you guys weren't asking me, you were telling me that he is going to be Mr. Olympia 2016 and you guys need to hold your horses on that, alright? Uh, he's, he is a genetic elite and it is, I mean, there, there's very few people in the world that can look like this. Um, a lot of people want to look like that, but a lot of us will never even get close to what this guy looks like. But there are things that he needs to work on to get to that level. Yes, he has placed top 10 um, twice, uh, but he has also placed 12th. He's gotten uh, 12th place at the Olympia and I believe 2012, 13 it was 7th, 14, 2014 was 12th again, and then last year he got 7th uh, beating um, Victor Martinez, uh, Essa Obid, and uh, who else was it? William Bonek. Uh, speaking of what? Jesus. What the fuck is that? Uh, so speaking of William Bonac, he is going to have to beat this guy again, and uh, William is looking real good, guys. But uh, I'm not even going to talk. I'm not even going to touch on him. I just want to bring that up for a second. So what I believe is holding Roly Winkler back from actually breaking into that top three, um, that top three in the Olympia, and it is number one. It is his posing. Uh, I think he's he was good before he was a pro. I saw a bunch of pictures where he was looking amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was a pro here, but look how he's hitting this this side chest shot right here. I mean, you can see he has his arm pulled back, got a little obliques in there. He's relaxing this side of his chest, pressing this side out, right? And as you can see at the New York Pro, he is for some he's some reason he's starting to crunch everything in. And it's not just one shot; it was multiple shots of him doing this side chest, and he's just crunching. He's crunching it in like so. He's like hiding like this. A side chest is supposed to open that up and I'm going to show you guys how it's supposed to look by the guy who beat him and came in first and who I would say if you want to know how to pose like default pose as a, a bodybuilder, Dexter Jackson just I mean <laughs> the dude he comes in it's just I mean if you want to learn how, it's like just the basics. Being a professional bodybuilder I feel like posing should be the last thing you should have to worry about. This guy is competing at the most prestigious bodybuilding show ever in the world and for some reason he doesn't have his posing down and your fans including me we want to see you guys see you break into that top three top five so get your damn posing down there's no reason that you can't get it down you don't do anything but bodybuild why is posing an issue so anyway anyways guys check this out see how Dexter Jackson is hitting the side chest shot and see how he is he's opened up you see his obliques this side of his chest is relaxed you can see the thickness the girth of the chest, this side is being pressed in by that back arm, and for some reason he's just not doing it right. He, he his arm, his elbows flared out. 
He, he's hiding, he's squishing, and it doesn't look very good. And the light's starting to piss me off. All right, so let's go ahead and move on, guys. Next pose that I had was this right here. Like, why do you continuously do this pose, man? It, it, you're not doing it right. And it's and it's not it's not showing the the highlights of your physique. Like what are you showing off right here, Robbie Robinson? This is how it's supposed to look. As you can see, you can see both peaks of the bicep. His back is fully turned. He's flexible enough to be able to turn his body all the way around. Rolly, you're you're too big, man. You're too big to be doing this pose. Just stop. Do posing. Do poses that highlight your strengths. So like when you do your your most muscular your crab poses, I mean you're looking phenomenal. You're blowing people out the water. Your um, your uh, what is it? Your rear lat spread, your front lat spread. You totally saturate those poses. You have no holes anywhere in those poses. Only thing's wrong is uh, that injury that you had. I'm pretty sure a while ago. And I'm gonna turn that off. Anyway, so your front and rear lat spread, strengths, I mean, you blow people out the water with these poses, these poses right here. So uh, when you're doing your posing by yourself on stage, do poses that are going to highlight your physique. You have amazing arms, a crazy back, um, and, and you can just saturate your poses. So start hitting the poses that, I mean, you have one of the best trainers in the world. I don't know why he's not telling you this. And then the other thing he needs to work on is his conditioning. I mean, if you guys want to say he's going to beat the best in the world, I'm going to show you him next to the best in the world. And as you can see from last year's Olympia, I mean, this is, I mean, just look at the lower back. Look at the conditioning. It's two different classes of conditioning. I mean, this is, let me go ahead and pull up, pull up another thing that, that I think shows a uh, failure on his part is conditioning is against Big Grammy. I mean, we're talking maybe what, eight, nine percent body fat compared to, to what, four or three. So step up your conditioning. Um, which you did this year, but it's going to need to be even better if you're going to compete on the Olympia stage against the best in the world. I mean, Dexter was second place last year, and um, and you just lost to him. So, I mean, if you're not beating the second best guy in the world, there's no way you're going to beat number one with that conditioning that you brought to that stage. So, step up the conditioning, start hitting poses that complement your physique. Um, and what else did I have to say? Oh, with the the guys out of the Olympia there this year, guys, we have uh, so Phil, Phil, and then so Phil first, Dexter second, Sean third. Dennis Wolf was fourth last year. He's out of the competition. Ty Green, I don't think he's going to be competing in the Olympia ever again. He hasn't voiced his. I don't know what he's saying. So you have Dexter Jackson, Phil Heath, Sean Roden, which were the top three. Fourth place is gone. Big Grammy could move into that fourth, and you could move into that fifth spot unless you can beat Big Grammy coming, I mean, or, or even beat Sean, you come into third. So, I mean, your fans are pulling for you. I hope that you fix that posing. I hope you come in shredded and diced. And that is my take on Roly Winkler this year, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys uh, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, the link's below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back next week with another video. All right?